What's the connection between your gut health and autoimmune conditions? Sure. And even before we get into that, to sort of follow up on something you mentioned earlier, Cyrus, about the gut being so central to overall health and all these ancillary problems, think about where your gut is located, right? It is right in the center of your body, and it is literally your engine. So it feeds the brain and the kidneys and the lungs and the heart and the musculoskeletal system. And so it sort of stands to reason that if your engine is not working properly, if your engine's a little bit broken down, you're not going to get very far down the road. And I'll tell you, when I was in medical school 30 years ago, people were sort of like, oh, why do you want to do gastroenterology? You want to wait around and poo? And, you know, that's not a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, 30 years ago, the microbiome, even though we've known about these organisms for hundreds of, year, hundreds of years, but the importance of the microbiome to not just gut health, but overall health, autoimmunity, et cetera, was really not on the radar. I mean, it's been, Correct. as you know, an incredible amount of research and science that has brought us to where we are now and what we know. And so it's been so exciting for me as a gastroenterologist who, yes, I do spend a lot of my time wading through poo, but to really um, be able to be a messenger for people about how central gut health is to overall health and how, you know, how do you take care of your engine so you can make sure you do get far down the road. So to get back to your question about um, really, I think what you're asking is, you know, the gut, what's the connection between the gut and the immune system? Well, as you know, Cyrus, the majority of the immune system is actually physically located in your gut. 70 to 80% of those immune cells are located along the lining of the gut. And they're in really close interaction with the trillions of microbes on the other side of the gut lining. And remember, that gut lining is only one cell thick. So you have the trillions of microbes on one side, this one cell thick lining, the gut membrane, sometimes called the intestinal epithelial barrier, and the immune cells on the other. And of course, they're in constant interaction. So the microbes are like air traffic control. They're telling the immune cells what to do. And, and here's a real life example of that. There are uh, bacterial microbes, gut flora, a class of bacteria called bacteroidetes. And when they sense dangerous viruses floating around in the gut lumen, because of course for viruses like SARS-CoV-2 and others, they often get into the body through the mouth. So when they sense these dangerous viruses, they trigger something in the wall of the intestines, in the wall of the gut, and that causes a release of interferons. And interferons are chemical messengers that interfere with viruses. And then that signals the immune cells to really, you know, saddle up and get ready to do battle. So our gut bacteria are really the first line of defense to signal to the immune system. Conversely, you know, amongst a gazillion different particles floating around in the gut, if there's something that the immune system might be getting ready to react to but is actually harmless, let's say it's an undigested food particle, and the immune system thinks, hmm, is this foreign? Do I need to react? Those same gut bacteria say, nope, stand down, all good, just undigested food particles, don't worry. So the microbes are really involved in immune modulation, immune balance, signaling the immune cells when to react, when to ignore, when to, you know, what to do essentially. And so you can start to see that if you don't have a healthy complement of gut bacteria, that signaling is going to go awry.